Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here and for today's video I just wanted to go over the quest line with you guys. Looks like we got a new event and I'm gonna go over to my Shadow Hunter because a lot of you guys have been asking about this costume right here. You get it from this event. So if you do want it, uh, the hat and the weapon doesn't come with it but the costume does. And if you're wondering, it is called Lunar Lotus. But anyway, let's get on with the quest. So step number one, we have to meet with Lunar Knight uh, Cusley over here so just press E on them or just whatever that is on console and looks like that is it for step one. For step number two you just go back a little bit and just press this for E or whatever that is on console back at that person so two steps already done pretty pretty quick here. Alright so for step number three I just went over to the Curse Veil vale area and if you want to avoid lag a lot of people are going to be going to this area so what you could do is go to a different area it could be anywhere else and just look for that specific biome. So Chris Vale in this example here. Looks like we have to find and defeat a Chaos Wolf. So I'll meet you back when I find one of those. All right, so for whatever reason, I had to just swap worlds because it just wasn't spotting. But there we go. That's what you have to find. There's an exclamation point on their uh, heads there. I'm just going to collect that for later. Anyway, for step number four, we have to go back to the hub and we just talk to this guy over here. And that's basically it there. And for step number five, it looks like we have to equip a Lunar Plunge banner. So basically you want to come over here and you want to turn your tainted Lunar Drops into the actual Lunar Drops. So when you go over here, you can actually craft it over here, the one of the banners. So it looks like you'll need about a hundred of those. Not about, you do need a hundred. So I guess I'll meet you back when I get all the Lunar Drops. All right, so once you get a hundred, you want to craft one of these banners. It looks like they do pretty much the same thing for the most part i don't even know i'm just gonna go with the first one because 250 light like i guess we'll put that on so we'll just craft that one and all we have to do is equip it so we go into here put that on and there we go we have it equipped and i'm just gonna put my banner back on my other one uh never mind i'm gonna keep the banner on just for the sake of the rest of the event so it looks like all we have to do is go into an adventure world and get our magic find to trigger and i guess that's gonna bring in a shadow wolf so let's go try that all right so i went to a dungeon i'm gonna fight this enemy i'm pretty sure yeah it's gonna trigger that i feel bad for the people that don't have as much magic fun as i do so i feel like there's a bit of a discriminatory going on here the people that don't have high magic find but anyway that's how you complete that part of the quest and the next one i got four out of 150 of these fragments apparently so we have to fight more of these shadow wolves so it looks like you have to keep triggering your magic find so i guess just find stuff like this and just have your magic find trigger i guess just be careful about the lag and stuff like that and uh, now we're at nine out of 150 i'm pretty sure this will be easier to do in geo top side but i'm just gonna go over to u6 and just farm over here just casually just you know for fun this is a cool little dungeon shout out to saiki obviously for you know anyway uh, let's go back to the farm i'm just kidding about the dungeon by the way it was, it was made by somebody else so uh please don't attack me about it it was just a joke all right and there we go i went to geo top side for like the last half of it which you definitely trigger magic find on like every single enemy it feels like like right there again so if you want to get it done super quick just go to geo top side or if you want to casually farm just go to u6 or the forbidden spires area or just wherever you can comfortably do your magic find stuff next you want to come back to the hub and you want to go to this area over here talk to him and there's gonna be something on the side over here where we have to craft some armor so we have to go get more lunar drops which is gonna be a little bit annoying but i guess we have to do that now so I'll meet you back when I get the materials. Also, another thing about these tainted stars is that you can actually just go over to the shores of the Everdark. I'm not sure how many of you guys actually know this, but they exist over here too. And there isn't as many people. I say that. There's a lot of people right now, but just trust me. Usually there aren't that many people here. So if Chris fails full or if any other world is full, you can just go over here and surely you'll be able to just farm in peace. But just uh, keep at it. You'll be able to get the tainted stars in no time, hopefully. Just avoid the lag, I beg. It's a little bit hard to do, but I believe in you guys. All right, so after a bit of farming, I finally have enough. Just make sure you convert your stuff over here. And when you come back to this person over here, you can craft the armor. So we're going to go ahead and do that and finally get our... I don't know if this is even mastery. I don't even know what this is. But I guess we got that part of the quest done. I don't know what I just crafted, but nice, I guess. Alright, so for step number nine, it looks like we have to go to the shores of Everdark, so I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, so it looks like for step nine, you have to go into this dungeon over here, and if we go if we go here into the portal, we can eventually just go down here into the crystal area, and there's gonna be that guy over there, that's what we have to fight. So I guess you're gonna have to look for these dungeons, uh, not the big ones, but these ones. I don't know if the big ones count, but it looks like it's just gonna be from this over here. There we go, we're at three out of 50, so it looks like this is what you're gonna have to look for. You'll probably find a group doing these, so you can just kind of tag along with them, uh, see if it's okay with them, obviously, but you can also just go off in your own direction. 
Well, I guess keep doing those, keep trying to find those. All right, so I guess bombs just straight up do not work here or something. I, I don't even know how that works, but so from what I'm noticing, it's the second wave from the curse school that the boss appears in. So I guess just keep at it. You'll get to 50 eventually. They are kind of annoying to find, but I believe in you guys. All right, looks like this is the final dungeon. I'm starting to get a little bit tired, but you're going to push through, finish up the event. And there we go. That's that part of the quest done. And the group that I was with is pretty much gone. And for the final part of the quest, we go back to the hub and it looks like we talk to this NPC here and looks like we are done with that. So anyway, that looks like that's all part of the quest. That's all done. We are finished with all of that. There's some new mastery items, which I'll probably farm for later on. And if you guys were curious, this took me about an hour to finish. So in case you wanted to know just an approximate time, and maybe if you don't have enough movement speed, I think the most time consuming part would be step nine, doing all those dungeons, especially the fact that a lot of people are going to be doing those dungeons too. So not only do you have to race those people, we have to like catch up to them and then possibly do more than them. So anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you find yourself coming back. And like always, thank you all so much for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. And I will talk to you all later.